Hey guys, it's me Jello Pineda and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video guys, we are going to be taking a closer look on these Air Jordan 13's bread. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today guys and I hope you are having a wonderful day. Before we go on with the video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're new here and kung matagal ka na dito guys, maraming salamat for sticking with me. Meron tayong bagong nakuhang Jordan 13 bread. Hindi ko siya binili. More of meron akong nakaswap sa Jordan brand only kung doon nakakamali. Yeah, I think it's uh, either the third world or Jordan brand only na Facebook group. There was this guy na pinapakiswap niya tong Jordan 13 breads niya. Uh, so, I offered like some of my sneakers. Sabi ko, which one would you want? And pinili niya yung Jordan 11 na win like 82. For me, nung una ayaw talagang bitawin kasi it's a Jordan 11 silhouette. So, kumaga parang that was my collection. However, when I realized na these are OGs, man. These are OGs. Michael Jordan wore them on playoffs. And although sa stock X mas mahal ang mas mahal ang value ng Jordan 11 win like 82 kesa dito. I still pulled the trigger kahit medyo palugi siya ng konti. It's simply because these are OGs and yung Jordan 11 ay hindi. Although sabi ko having an OG sneaker like like this na sino talaga ni MJ, I think for me mas valuable yon kesa sa value nila as, you know, as a sneaker. Before we go and check on the sneaker, let's talk about the box. Now, the box comes in the OG box na ginamit nila way back in when these first released. It's a silver Jumpman box. And then you will see here the size tag that says 10.5, Jordan 13. And then that's pretty much it. So I got a size 10.5. For me, parang true to size siya on, on Jordans para sa akin. Kasi my true to size is 10. Pero kapag nakasuot ako ng 10.5, parang sakto siya. You know what a Jordan 13 looks like kasi hindi naman to bagong release. This was released in uh, 2017. So like last year and actually there were a couple of Jordan 13s in the past. Uh, I think 2013 yata yon yung hindi hindi reflective itong itong side niyan to. Hindi 3M. So ngayon itong 2017 binalik nila yung reflective 3M hit nitong sneaker na to. Uh, let's go on and check on the materials. I don't have the uh, yung dating Jordan 13 na bread to have a comparison pero if you check on other videos makikita mo na mas vibrant yung kulay nito than yon at the same time wala siyang 3M reflective hit dito sa mesh so let's start off with the tongue the tongue is a nubuck material uh, in black and has a jumpman logo embroidered ang problem nandito dahil nubuck siya in time medyo magbabakbak siya so kumbaga ingat-ingatan mo lang siya continuing down from the tongue going dito sa laces niya, they have this flat black laces. And then dito sa baba, at the end of the of the laces, you'll see a, a Jordan logo here. If you flip it over, you will see the number Roman numeral number 13. On the toe cap of the sneaker, you will see a tumbled leather in black. On both on the lateral and the medial side, you will see the reflective 3M mesh. Then moving down, dito sa mudguard niya, makikita mo na meron siyang red nubuck material wrapping around the sneaker from the lateral side, going to the back, and going dito sa medial side. At the back of the sneaker, you will see here that meron siyang hologram na 23 dito sa likod. These were designed na parang parang paws ng isang panther. And kung pag sasamahin yung dalawang sneaker, dito, mukha siyang mata ng, mukha siyang mata ng isang panther. Yun yung pagkaka-design ni Tinker Hatfield sa sneakers na to. Let's go to the outsole of the sneaker. Makikita mo pa rin dyan yung traction pads niya. Carbon fiber plate. Another hologram na Jordan dito. White traction pads dito sa likod. Pretty much, if you look look at the overall aesthetics ng sneaker, para talaga siyang paan ng isang panther. Now, my overall thoughts dito sa Jordan 13 bread na to. Honest to goodness, sa lahat ng Jordans na nasuot ko, ito ang pinaka-comfortable. At the same time, ito rin ang pinaka nakikita kong very responsive when it comes dito sa loob. Kasi this also has uh, an air uh, air bubble unit sa loob. 
uh, it's very comfortable. You have a neoprene sock liner dito. For me, uh, hindi ka na, ako never ako naka experience na para ako nasusugatan anywhere dito sa sneakers. Wraps around your foot. It has a very nice lockdown support. Although, ang hindi ko lang nagusto sa sneaker na to is yung material na nubak dito sa side at nubak dito sa tang. Ang problem kasi, I had, uh, I had uh, a Jordan 3 powder blue that, which had the similar tang na nubak sila. And, after some time, medyo, syempre tatali mo, tapos nagagamit, tapos nagabakbak siya, and there is no way to restore yung, yung tang niya. So, I'm, at, at the same time, dahil dito sa side yung, ano niya, yung nubak material, or parang suede, suede nubak material dito sa baba, syempre, di may iwasan kapag medyo umuulan, eh, nababasa, and kapag nababasa siya, then naniniga siya, at pag tumiga siya, it's cooked, man, wala na. Medyo mahirap na siyang i-restore. Pero there are some, you know, there are some, uh, there are some YouTubers na they restore, na, na nakapag-restore na ng ganito. So if ever, uh, if ever you wanna know how to restore this, I'll link some videos in the description down below. Ang pinaka the best para sa akin yung kay, uh, kay Restorations with Vic Almighty, nung restore niya the exact same pair. So anyways guys, tell me what you think about these Jordan 13 uh, breads. Are you planning to cop them or do you actually have them? Merong niispatan mo rin ba to sa itong sneaker to sa ibang Facebook groups? And if ever nagustuhan mo yung video na to, please go ahead and leave a like. And kung bago ka dito, please make sure that you are subscribed. So anyways guys, maraming maraming salamat for tuning in today guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys!